adjust the chair's position.
Volkswagen Jetta that this uh, manual. So thank you guys for everything. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Hey you guys. So in this video I will be tapping and scratching through my friend's car. I haven't been able to get you a car tap through for a while so I wanted to do that while I was in the US. I don't have a car in Egypt and I don't have many friends who have a car either. So this is the soft spoken version of the video. The no talking version went up about five or six days ago. This is the like it's like a tissue holder. Really nice velcro, and then the material on the outside is nice sounding as well. This is a Ford there, all the different buttons and options. I love the sounds of buttons in cars. <laughs> So this is a pretty large car, um, it's got the two seats in the front obviously, then there's um, a middle section with three seat belts, and then in the back there's like a portion that is like a trunk, um, but you can lift up I don't really know how to describe it. Seen, you can like lift up the seats. You can take away a portion of the trunk area and lift up seats. And I think she has like maybe two extra seats that pop up, something like that. So I think the car holds like seven people. Possibly eight, I'm not entirely sure. I love the sound of this. I don't know about you guys, but I love driving. I particularly like to drive stick shift, though, more than automatic, if possible. I love it. I love driving even if it's automatic. Lots of plastic sounds on this car. Steering wheel is a nice kind of, it's like a nice grip. I've driven her car. I like the feeling of the steering wheel. Her car is, it's so big. I'm not used to driving a car this large. These are like speakers, I think, then.
So you guys, I have only a short time left in the US. I will be going back to Egypt. I miss Egypt very, very much. But I've had a really, really great time with my family and friends in the US. Like a really great time. Better than I had expected even. I thought it would be good, but it's been great. to do my best to film as many videos as I can prior to this coming weekend because I'm going to go on a small trip for just a few days prior to flying out um, with family and friends so I'll be unable to get videos out um, like from that spot so I am going to try to film videos ahead of time and get them ready to post for you but if there's any gaps um, it's because of a bit of a trip there right before flying and then flying so I don't know how much I will be able to get ahead and film videos that are prepared for you in advance I will do my best. A lot of you have actually asked about the uh, pink party that I did with some of the littles in my life. Long story, but it went very well. It exceeded our expectations. I am going to, at some point, try to put a video on Patreon to show you some of the things that we uh, did. We made all of our food pink. And I mean all of it. <laughs> we either purchased things that were pink, such as dragon fruit. That was amazing, by the way. Um, or we uh, you know, used some food colouring to do like a pink cake and frosting but yeah, we went as far as like we made our rice pink we used tofu so we could really get that pink I mean we, we did it up it was a blast so I will put that on Patreon at some point here it could, could be a minute I don't know have time to edit that before um, going back to Egypt but you can look forward to that Sometimes on Patreon I'm able to post a good amount and sometimes the, uh, I'm not just because there's lots going on but I try to put stuff up there whenever I can. Just like behind the scenes and things like this. So I love, I love doing that and I love getting to know guys better on there. But yeah, sorry for when there's little gaps of time where I, I can't do as much. Is like I guess that was a spot for sunglasses. I don't quite understand. I'm trying to think, like, would I ever keep my sunglasses in? I don't think I would. I think I'd always keep them in my backpack because I think I would like not have them when I wanted them if they were always in there. So there's some little car seats in the back. I'll take you in the back in a minute. She keeps her car really nice and clean. Despite having littles in the car.
something that's interesting about Egypt. Um, yeah, there's that back space where the seeds do pop out if you want. But something that's interesting about Egypt is like there's no, well, I shouldn't say no car seeds, but mostly no car seeds. Uh, for kids, it's, um, yeah, there's no, no regulations on that anything. Uh, kids can be whatever they want in the car. Um, obviously parents hold on to them and such. But, uh, yeah, also don't really wear seatbelts in Egypt. <laughs> I mean, the other thing is, it's kind of rare that you're going extremely fast on like a freeway situation. Typically you're on side streets kind of bumping around going a bit slower. So maybe, you know, there's less um, uh, situations you can be in where you'd get really harmed, you know. But yeah, lots and lots of countries don't have any regulation on that. The US um, has really extreme regulate, not extreme in a bad way, just like really um, mm, what's the word? S serious regulations on car seats and such. So of course everyone in every country wants to protect their child, of course. We do it in different ways and have different uh, cultures and ways that things work, so yeah, but in the US the car seats are required. If you're from Egypt let me know if um you've noticed that sort of thing starting in Egypt where families are starting to use car seats possibly. I'm sure that's happening um maybe the younger generation or something like this. Okay, so we are reaching the end of the video. It's a bit short video because there are cars going by like crazy that I had to edit out. But if you've made it to the end with me, let's go ahead and put a turtle emoji in the comment section, okay? Okay, you guys. Bye for now. Hey, you guys. In this video, I am going to be tapping, scratching, pushing buttons through this Prius. This is my friend's Prius. And she is letting me do a little tour of her car for you guys. not like super clean or anything, sorry about that, but it's decent. The steering wheel is going to the side at the moment, the way it's parked. I did put out a no talking version as well. I love car tapping and scratching sounds, just car sounds. So I hope you guys like it. So this is the driver's side door and the door lock and the door handle, silver. This part is kind of like, it's very plasticky like more than usual like it just feels like a piece of plastic on stuff it's very scratchy you can see it has some texture to it i've got like child lock stuff and then the cars unlock and lock buttons and of course windows going up and down up down a silver portion here. I decided to open up the garage door to film this version because I felt it was a bit dark in the no talking version. I wanted it to feel like 
night time for you and relaxing, but I felt like it was actually a bit too dark, especially when I went to the back seat. Okay, so they've got mirror adjustments here, the left and right mirrors, and you can do all these different directions. All the different vents for the AC and the heater. There are some greens along here. There. And one silver slot here. I did a tap through of a um, Tesla about like a year and some change ago. And it's fun to see like how the different cars are made, especially a Tesla, and like how it's set up on the inside, it's like there's nothing but a dashboard, because in the middle, there's just like a monitor that you just use that for all the details. Okay, so we've got the seek button for like the radio or tracks on a CD goes here. The other day I was in the car with my friend in this car and she's got two car seats in the back for her twins and they had like climbed up to the front while, while like waiting for us to get in the car. One of them had and apparently had taken CDs out of the glove box and started to insert them one at a time. So when we came to the car, there were, we could just see that there were like a handful here. And of course she freaked out a bit. And then she like was able to pull one out, but then she went and got like, I don't know, tweezers or something. I forget what it was. And we sat and she like pulled them out one at a time. I think they're about three maybe. Possibly four, possibly four. It was a lot. So here's the buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. The scan button. And FM2, FM1, AM, SAT. I don't know what SAT stands for. Satellite, I have no idea. The disc. Folder type. There's a mute button. This is for changing the kind of station. This one's volume. But she also has, again, sorry, it's kind of stuck upside down here. But down here, there's a section where you can do volume and changing stations. These are the station chains and changing, and that's volume mode. So there's some things you can do just with your hands while driving. I think they've had this car for like maybe eight or nine years and they actually got it used. So it's actually in quite good condition for how many years it's been used for. So this is kind of the center console. This opens up and has some like lip balm, masks, a few things like that. At least that's what I've seen in there. She has her hand sanitizer here. See there's a mask. <laughs> there's masks everywhere. This is um, by Trader Joe's. It's a grapefruit and lemon hand sanitizer spray. My friend really likes this. And then she's just got like a garage clicker here. Forgive all the little crumbs, etc. Like I said, it's not clean, super clean at the moment. It's just like daily life. Here's my, well, it's not my car, but here's the car. Cleaner. Nice to 
have a box of Kleenex and just some little things there. I like the colour of the shift here. It like gives me the feeling of dry green stick shift. I like that. Quite smart, it's just, just reverse neutral dry backwards. Tell me in the comments if you um, drive stick shift. I've said this many times probably because I love driving stick. Um, I haven't had a stick shift for a long time but it's way better than automatic in my opinion. It's really fun. So tell me if you also drive stick in the comments. So this is the power button for those of you who haven't driven a prius or like kind of like hybrids and things like that um they have these power buttons where you just put your foot on the brake and you push this and as long as the like it's called um, a key fob so key fob has to be with you um in the car for the car to turn on it's weird it's a key but like you never actually put it in the car you just like keep it in your purse or wallet or whatever. Let's see, I'll get this from here. And this is the windshield wiper controller. I don't know what all of these are. I mean, I guess just this at the time. It's really cool because this is like, I don't know what to call it, like some kind of monitor. Um, you can't see it because the car's not on, but you can hear that there's a screen back there. And it will like pop up in this kind of like almost 3D way where there's info about the car when you turn it on. And you can like click certain buttons to like highlight certain things, but it's all like digital. You might have noticed that there's not a park option on this. It just has a reverse neutral drive backwards. And um, when you do this, it does come up on this digital board. Um, but yeah, there's no park. You have to actually push this button to put it in park. But if you're not used to it, it's, it's happened to me once when I was driving her a kid somewhere to help with blah 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 long story but I took the twin somewhere <laughs> we just went inside someone's place for a short time thankfully we came out and the car was like I, I tried to like click it open or something like something's not properly working turns out I just left the car on it wasn't in park and it didn't turn off because of that so if you don't push it the car won't turn off when you think it turned off there's the emergency lights EV eco mode. So this is a hybrid where you get gas for it, but as you drive it, I believe um, above a certain mileage, it actually charges and provides more um, electricity to run it. So it's electric and gas. Run. going to go to the other side of the car. Okay, so I've come to the other side. Do you hear how plastic that sounds? Like it sounds like, I'm going to be honest, like a very cheap plastic. I don't know that it is cheap necessarily, but it, it sounds like it. This part. So there's one that opens upward and one that opens down, I think. Yeah. And this one goes up. They've got another vent here and here. Yeah, the Tesla had some interesting vents too. You should check out that video. I 
can just put like actually I have a car playlist if I've remembered to put pop the Tesla video inside or you can just put ASMR Villa Tesla into YouTube and it will come up but all the bends were very interesting in the Tesla as well so this is the passengers window control also has an unlock and lock and here's the lock for the door if you do it just by hand the nice silver handle necessarily okay on the side here is the seat belt and it's got a grey plastic part here and the grey belt and this is the back of the chair very nice kind of a lighter grey here darker grey here along the door with kind of the handle here the opening handle here there's this soft portion that's material and then along it is the plastic okay you guys I'm going to take you to the back seat but I want to prepare you that the two twins usually are back here. There are toys everywhere. And it's like shenanigans really. So if you don't want to see the chaos that is their back seat, turn away now. It's not that that bad, but lots of toys. Little Mickey Mouse car seats. Okay, I have successfully gotten myself in between the two car seats in the back seat, which is no small feat. This is the Disney print that's on their car seat. Little red, grey, black and white design. Very soft. The little precious angel heads. Oh man, they're so cute. This is the portion that buckles in the front on the chest. And this is the little um, buckle. And you pop these inside, there's two of them. Sometimes when I try to help one out in, particularly when I help them out, it's really funny because with long, long nails like this, the button is a bit more difficult. <laughs> so I like, grab like a key or something like that to like poke it to open. I usually try to make it like a game or playful for the kids so they're not like worried about getting poked. <laughs> but to help me find something and we open it together. Because yeah, these, these are very long. <laughs> The back seat also has the handle and the car lock, although it is locked. Um, actually, I'm, I'm definitely stuck in here. I have to like crawl through the front because they have them child locked. So you can't get out this way and I didn't want to bother them to like turn the car on and switch up the modes, etc. So I am locked in the back seat currently in a very like tight position 
Okay, ready? Look at all the toys. Okay. So, what have we got here? So, first 100 animals. Looks like we've got a spite and oh, a bit of a bagel. You know. Anyone with kids anyone with kids like knows this is just this is just how it is. <laughs> Little Spider Man. A few other books down here. This one looks nice. Look at that. Scratching sounds. They've got little jackets. These are puffy jackets. This will sound nice though. They have matching puffy jackets like this in red. Some little sunglasses. Because they do, um, like it can sometimes be a bit sunny for them. So they have sunglasses and they like them. And they wear them, which is adorable. And then they have little games and things like this for them to play while, while going on drives. They're really, really good and their family travels a lot. So they've been in eight hour drives all the, often. Um, and they get breaks, of course, but that's, you know, it's a lot for a two year old. I hear a gardener coming, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, let's choose an emoji to put in the comments saying that you got to the end of the video. Um, hmm, something that would make sense. Let's put... Shall we put some sunglasses? Okay, let's put sunglasses as the emoji. So if you got to this point in the comments, put some sunglasses. Or if you don't have emojis, go ahead and write sunglasses. And that way, it's kind of fun. I know you got to the end. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye for now. Hey, you guys. So I'm going to be tapping and scratching through my friend's van. is a dodge and they were kind enough to let me steal their car <laughs> I, I'm outside the car currently just tapping on the door open I'll bring you in in a moment that is why you can hear a bird smooth actually. Got the windshield wipers here that you can control with this. This looks like it might be for, um, what's it called, when you want to just have the car drive on its own, I forget, cruise control, that's what it looks like to me. I actually do that quite often when I'm driving long, longer distances um, and it's feasible, like you're not in traffic. And I do that because I have that injured toe of mine who gets it gets irritated um, after periods of time. So if it's a long drive, I start to use cruise control. I feel like a pilot when I'm using cruise control driving it. So there 
press the seek button seek this way am fm disk aux rewind fast forward it's got an eject button time and i won't push it on this is push audio select and it's got volume one two three four five six set and rmb maybe rewind again i don't know and then it's got an area that you can plug in audio i think that's what that is not to my forte <laughs> this is for the vent and the ac control ac and heat i've got some you can choose if you want it to be down here middle and up or just up and then this is how much you want like the amount to be that's coming out throughout the car and then here i guess how is that different from this i do not know maybe it's like a fan instead okay so these are both of the rear controls so you can adjust how much you, air you want to come out and if you want it to be cool or hot like that okay so some different options down here here this one it's kind of nice and just more vents here got the dashboard up here and I won't, I won't open those but maybe this yeah it's kind of cool that you on this for it to open. I wonder if something comes down to it opens from beneath. They've got two little kind of cubbies here that they can open up and store things in. And then they've got two kind of cup holders here. They have one of their little ones, water cans, water bottle. And the other's empty. And the seats have this nice arm rest. And the chair is actually cushioned like this. I particularly like this sound here. And keys. toys this armchair did I say armchair? <laughs> oh dear armrest from drive to reverse etc I'd say my favorite um, part of any car tap through is this portion of the wheel it just sounds really good well there's also really good button sounds too in car videos awesome sounds and cars <laughs> the different textures and 
different things that you can kind of find and just loving that kind of getting to focus. So I'm going to take you guys to the back seats because it's a van. and stuff they have back here for the small ones I've got some Mickey Mouse car seats very nice in with you guys some toys crumbs very on brand <laughs> for a family with twin boys that are two this is the second in fact that's like really good there's barely any crumbs for a family with twin boys okay I'm taking you back there's like a whole back area here that's opened up is the portion where you can like pull up the other seat And then we've got some controllers here. That's kind of nice. I guess this is for the middle section. So they can kind of control on their own, I guess. Because the front had the, uh, obviously the front and the rear, but here we've got middle okay so I have brought you to the outside of the car just to kind of tap a bit not on the side that's a nice plastic sound on the lights here nice thick plastic I believe this is called a grill correct me if I'm wrong the likelihood is quite high that I'm wrong because I don't know anything about terminology for cars I literally had to like edit so many portions out of this video because I called things like the wrong thing. <laughs> okay, this is the antenna. Hard to see. 
see that. Windshield wipers. Ooh, sounds nice. That also sounds really nice. This is just the front window. A little bunny just ran past us here. these nice handles where you simply pull outward and the van door will open and it does it on the other side as well it will just slide back for you to open it Interesting how each portion sounds quite different. And then I've got these nice tiles. K U N H O. Dodge, it says. No, this is not sponsored. <laughs> In the least bit, not in the least bit. Okay, and then we've got the back window and the back light. If you guys like, um, you know, car videos like this, tapping is rich on cars. Um, I did one with my friend's Tesla, and um, if you, I thought, you know, that might be kind of cool. <laughs> A little cool. A red Tesla. Uh, this is Flex Fuel E85 ethanol. Ooh, my windshields, I like the sound of these. The wipers. Not as good as the front. Twins on board. T W I N S. O N E O A R D. And the fuel area here, you pop that open. So that's about it, you guys. I hope that you enjoy this van tapping, scratching tour. That's a nice rubber too. Kind of like a thick rubber. I will do a no talking version as well eventually. Okay, you guys, I hope that you're doing well. Thank you so, so much for everything. Thank you for your sweet support, all of your sweet comments. And you guys are just really kind and I appreciate it. I'm kind of blown away by it all the time. Thank you guys. Okay, bye for now. See you next time. Hey everybody. So I had some time and wanted to do a car tapping video. This is my friend's car and she let us do a tap through here. And I was really excited to get the time to because I never get to do car tapping videos for you in Egypt. This is a Ford, I believe. It's like midday filming this. So the sun's really pretty and coming in the front window here. How are you guys doing? I feel like I miss all of you somewhat, I don't know. I think it's because I've been so busy in the US. I'm, I'm visiting the US right now, so I get this feeling of missing you. <laughs> so 
because I think I usually get to film more often and respond to you guys a bit more often. I've been trying to respond to comments still, but these windows are really loud, sorry. But yeah, I think I've been able to read your comments and respond, but I don't know. I think it's because I'm busy, I just feel like I haven't had as much time with you guys somehow. <laughs> on my trip. Got to spend time with lots of family and friends. Uh, yesterday we did our Egypt party, which means me and all the little ones in my life that I've loved for years and years and uh, had them in my life for years. We just try to do a little party together every time I visit the US and the first time we called it the pink party it was a th themed party we wore pink everything we ate was pink and if it wasn't we we used food coloring to make it pink and then we had um, this year the kids decided they wanted it to be an Egypt party, so we, we ditched the colour theme this year. But they know I live in Egypt and they were really excited to try some of the foods from there and we did some dancing to Egyptian music. We made a very popular Egyptian dish for our dinner. They cooked with me on little stools. We actually made one of the most, um, I don't know, maybe beloved meal. It's called kushri. Kushri is something that consists of rice, pasta, lentils, garbanzo beans, or some people call them chickpeas then this delicious tomato sauce and the topper is fried onions and it's just it's really really delicious um, it somehow is a really great combination of items and goes really well all together I've eaten it many many times but this was my first time making it, so I wanted to make sure, since I was going to be doing it with kids, I wanted to kind of have everything down. Do you see what I'm writing? I'm seeing if you can catch it. It was car ASMR. But yeah, when, when you have kids in the kitchen, it's kind of like your brain's all over the place and I, want, I like to have them help and they kind of alternate turns and helping in different things, but you have to be careful because you're cooking a lot and pay attention and so I wanted to make sure I knew how to do everything prior to doing it. Sometimes in the kitchen, if it's something I've never made and kind of like watching a YouTube video on how to do it, I'll just kind of watch as I go, but this was not going to work that way. So I had watched the video before and I'd gotten all the ingredients and we had to use a lot of different like pots because we make rice in a separate pot, pasta in a separate pot, lentils in a separate pot, the fried onions in a separate pot, and the sauce in a separate pot and last but not least we actually used a little um, saucepan to kind of heat up the garbanzo beans there's a lot of garlic that goes into the sauce you chop up garlic and saute it add it to tomato sauce with a bit of uh, crushed tomatoes as well I also did some just fresh tomatoes that I sautéed before adding the other um, components of the sauce. Usually 
Egyptians don't do that, but I just did it because we had some fresh tomatoes and I thought it might be nice. But usually it's just like a tomato sauce with maybe some crushed tomatoes, like from a can in it. Some cumin, salt. I added a bit of turmeric, but I'm not sure that that's commonly added. It was delicious though. And when you make rice in Egyptian culture, not always, but often, you, you actually add this little pasta into a saucepan, sauté it with oil prior to adding the rice. It's these little pieces of pasta, the tiny bits. Is it called vermich? I can't remember the name. It's something with a V. Little tiny bits of pasta, as if you were to take spaghetti and cut it up in small bits like less than an inch, maybe half an inch each one. You saute them until they're brown and then then you add the rice and stir it in with that sauteed pasta and then you add the water bring it to uh, let it, you know, bring it up to a boil again let it then simmer for whatever time the kind of rice you're making but usually it's, it's a white rice and when it is fully cooked, all of that pasta, it like rises to the top of the pan. And you just see this like browned, delicious noodle sort of at the top of the rice. And I don't know, it's just delicious. So there were very many components and it was also my first time frying onions. They were amazing. I had a pot filled with vegetable oil and you bring that to a high heat, medium high heat. I found that the higher it, the better it worked for me at least but I think the videos I watched said like medium to high heat anyway it wasn't quite getting where it needed to get on that heat so I put it high. And then I, you chop the onions and you pop those in to the oil. It took a really long time for them to get browned, um, but it did eventually do it. And they tasted amazing, amazing, so delicious. So a crispy, crispy onion, fried onion on the top of that mixture just brings it all together. I'm curious if anyone has had koshari before. I'm sure if there are Egyptians watching this, you've of course had it, but anyone else? <laughs> so anyway, we did our Egyptian Egypt party and it was really fun. I built a fort with the kids, like a pillow fort, with like a, like a blanket pillow fort, quite a big one, and we slept inside of it, in the middle of the living room. And I didn't know if like we'd all be able to sleep because it was we kind of like piled on each other <laughs> But it worked. We all slept They slept the kids slept the whole night. I was up and I was up a few times just kind of like Trying to <laughs> get my bearings, but like it was it wasn't the most comfortable, but it, it wasn't bad We we covered the floor with lots and lots of see I've got lots of change here. I'm just going to do some coin sounds because there's so many in here but yeah it was really fun they were beyond excited to sleep in the blanket fort we were kind of trying to replicate the feeling of like sleeping um, in a tent on the sands of Egypt in the desert at night um, some people get to do that. I don't do that in Egypt, but lots of people tourists get to go and do that and it's kind of a fun experience. And I thought they might enjoy something like that. Kind of get their imaginations going. We also built a 
quote unquote taxi out of a cardboard box, which is hilarious because I don't know, taxis just go hand in hand with Egypt in my mind and yeah, we like decorated it. <laughs> and the goal was to scoot each other, scoot the kids around in this box like they were driving a taxi. We didn't quite get there, we had a, maybe too many activities. They really wanted to make an Egyptian flag and that was cute, that was their thing, so they did that. Get the rest of these coins. I love sound, the sounds of coins. So my friend's got two little ones at the moment that she sometimes has in this car, sometimes three I guess, and um, so I'll take you to the back in a moment, you'll see some of the, uh, they're no longer car seats, they're like the little, what are they called, some, the little car, they're like seats, but they're not car seats, I can't remember the name of them, because they've gotten bigger and they don't need a car seat, they just need to sit in that little thing. Into a little console that opens up, they've got their masks and such. I'm going to be filming the Fabletics video very soon. I'm waiting because I got this like onesie, this like warm long sleeve. Um, long pants like pajama type onesie from them which isn't usually something they carry but I really loved it when I saw it and I got it and I've been wearing it constantly constantly even to people's houses I just wore this to see them <laughs> and so um see this guy what's this called booster seat I think it's called a booster seat I don't understand the reason, so they can... What's the reason for these guys? I assume it's safety, but... Why is it safer to be just a bit higher up? Maybe just, like, make sure they're more... You know, fitted into their spot? I don't know. Yeah, so anyway, I wanted to wear the onesie while I filmed the video. Because I thought that would be appropriate, <laughs> but I wore it too many times and it's like, I need to wash it now. So once it's washed, I'll film the video. But I've been wearing the pieces and they're like really cute. I'm excited to show you everything. I quite, I did, got quite, not like, got, I bought a, why can't I say this? I bought quite a large amount of items from them because it was an 80% off deal and these items are quality they last so long they're just really good quality and I just wear them constantly I wash them constantly and yeah so I, I just went for it and got all the things that I would need to use for dance exercise etc for the next year plus just I try to get them in bulk especially when there's a deal like that because this company's they're, they're very pricey but again I've I don't think I've ever purchased something full price I, I can't I couldn't stomach it it's expensive so yeah I go for the 80% and then it's just like amazing <laughs> little hook on the ceiling there some vents. This car has two seats in the front obviously, then it's got a set of three seats in the middle and then in the very back I think, yes, I believe you can pull up, you kind of pull up what, what lays down as like a trunk space. 
if you pull that up, it becomes two more chairs that are in the back, I believe. Two or even three, I can't, can't remember. I've sat in her car when it was all set up once, and I remember sitting in the very back one time. I'm not a fan of that, because I kind of get, like, car sickness dizzy, like, just feeling a bit, like, not great. So I like sitting towards the front of cars, but that's okay. <laughs> it was fine. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night. And I hope you enjoy getting to hear a car tap through. I'm sorry it's been so long. Actually, my boyfriend put out a car tapping video. When was that? I should try to link that below for you. I think maybe a few weeks ago, maybe even three weeks ago, I'm not sure. But. I always want to post his stuff, but I don't want to overwhelm you and post it too much, because I get excited. <laughs> um, actually, this one I really should post. There's a, there's a vintage store walkthrough that he did the other day, and I really loved it, because he loves vintage stuff. Like, it's so his personality, and I should probably specify, if you don't know, my boyfriend recently started an ASMR channel. And I've been spamming you guys with his content because I'm super excited and he's super excited. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I, I tried to stop because I didn't want to overwhelm you guys. <laughs> but there's one you really should check out. It's a vintage walkthrough of this sort. If you like my walkthroughs, I think you'll enjoy it. And I was excited that he got to do something like a store he's passionate about because I love IKEA. That's like, I'm passionate about that. So I do those all the time, and he did one, but it's not like his style of store, so I really am excited that he did that. I'll try to remember to post that for you guys, but a link to it. I'll try to start spam. I'll try to stop spamming you guys, but, you know, it's exciting. <laughs> Got a couple umbrellas, it's been raining. This is the other booster seat. I'm just going to show you kind of this side of the back seat and then I'll say goodbye. But I wanted to be able to show you this side too. So she's got two booster seats. These are the straps that I think are. I honestly don't know what that strap is. I really don't know. When I was watching all these littles, they were so little, they didn't have booster seats, so I'm not entirely sure of the purpose. I think also living in Egypt, there's no car, car seats like at all, so I think my brain is forgetting why we have booster seats. <laughs> it's better than not having them though, I'm assuming, it, but it's very, but it's very helpful keeping all the little nuggets safe. Seat belt. But there's something to this. See this little red buckle? So it's like attached to that little black one. I, I think it like creates a seat belt for the for the little ones. It's like m maybe fits them better or something. Maybe maybe a mom or dad out there can fill me in. Okay, you guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you guys for knowing me, being with me. Love you. Bye. Hey everybody. In this video, I'm going to be tapping and I'll scratching.
speak.
it's three hours worth, so maybe nine videos or so. If I remember, I'll, I'll try to link that below. But it's a no talking compilation video. I'm sorry.
you guys I hope that you guys are doing really well I just wanted to film a video for you guys this morning um, I'm actually in the car I've been wanting to do a video like this for you guys for quite some time and today seemed quite fitting sorry it's not that clean <laughs> Today seemed um, quite fitting because, um, as I've shared in a previous video, we are in the middle of quite a large move and things have been a bit busy. So, um, I don't have things quite set up to film indoors yet. So, I thought I would do the car video that I've been wanting to do. It seemed a great idea. So, I've got my camera here and I don't have any like audio recorder or anything like that so I hope it's nice. I've got some buttons here for changing the radio and this is just a little drawer that opens up. It's got some inside and this is just to control the airflow with a bit of a fan option fan and heat just feet feet and head and then just the head or the top portions up here the thing is where the air flows out from emergency light so if, if a problem happens and you're on the road this is what you push and all your, your lights will flash a little bit so people are aware that you are unable to move your car or something like that um, then down here we have these, these little buttons this is so that the air will flow from within your car instead of using the air from the outside of the car or use the air that is inside the car so if you're driving behind um, some sort of truck or something that's letting out some poor smells then you can just push this and it will only use the air within the car instead of bringing in that outside smelly air and then of course the AC button if you need air conditioning, you can push this and the light will pop on. And then this is defrost. So if it's too cold outside, um, if it's um, near the very early morn morning or it's like a really rainy and cold day, then you have to use the defrost button. depending upon who is in the car and who wants air and who does not. Um, this is great. And then there's also a little vent over here. This 
so it's not moving very much but you can have the option down here if you want to decrease how much air comes out of this one or, in, or increase it by doing this little wheelie button, I don't know what to call this. Let's see, a little dash here. And, um, and then back in here. Odometer and such. It tells the odometer here and it tells you how fast you're going. So if you stop going too fast, it'll go quite high. Typically, on the side streets, you would be going about here. No, sorry, here, 35. On the freeway, it's 65. And um, then fuel full and empty when the car is off it always says empty but it's actually full right now so the dash here is plastic and then right here we have a different I think the thermometer of some sort and uh, we've got over here just Neutral drive, drive three, drive two, and um, yeah, this is what you can push in and out. I won't push it now, but this little button allows you to go from different settings that show up here. And again, as you can see, it's this is this car is a Honda and horn. These are worn off, but this is for like when you want to set your car to go to a certain speed. So if you're going 65 on the highway, you can then um, set the speed by pushing a button here and it will keep you going 65. Um, and you can push cancel. This sets it. This is resume and this says cancel. to move it correctly. Here's the trumpet for the horn. I never actually noticed that. Um, and we have this um, cover for our steering wheel. Um, my husband liked this design. And Hegel wanted one of these for quite some time so he ordered this a while back kind of hard to see with the lighting but it has some different colours here yeah, from like red and black, blue, yellow, it's a grey material for, for scratching. I've never done a video where I was like holding the camera like this so apologies if it's like going everywhere. got these nice grip pieces here just to feel. I actually don't know the purpose of them but I'm sure you guys may do. It's got them here too. I don't know if it's just a, it has a nice feel to it. But. Um, let's see, so then we've got our um, kind of like windshield stuff going on over here so that um, if you need to put your windshield wipers on you can push it up or down. It's not letting me since the car's not actually on. But it has like the mist of, uh, I don't know if that sounds for low and high, maybe intermediate, I have no idea. And then um, over 
here are the lights. You can tell we turn these on and off. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. We turn these on and off quite a bit. You can see it's like some of the like paint is removed here. But it's the lights. And then we've got oh, new buttons for windows to come up and down. the door and our locks. This is just the side of the door. It's got cushion on it, so this is just you no know, cushion underneath. It's high pitched, and here we've got the lower pitched. Just the thing we can kind of put our arm on armrest there. cheese wrapper. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So then down here we've got just like uh, gears here. We can put these park and reverse neutral drive, drive through drives here. When I was my first car. Um, it was stick shift. This is an automatic. I actually prefer stick shift, which is not automatic if you're not familiar. Um, it's the kind of car where you need to shift gears and use your clutch as you drive. Who out there drives stick shift? I'd be curious. Do any of you guys drive stick? It's more fun, isn't it? Yeah, like it's just way more fun <laughs> but um i my first car was like really old of course because it was my first car and um it was just like a really cheap thing <laughs> which is great um it ended up lasting quite a while actually um but that was when i was really young um it's my very very first um driving experience here in that car I had a really, really, it was so old that the, like, the actual stick shift up here, the shifting gears, like, it was so hard to tell between park and reverse and neutral, all these options. Specifically, it was really confusing to go from reverse, first, and, I don't know what it was, like, fifth gear, something, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. Anyway, my car was so old that, like, you you really could not tell which gear you were in by where it was sitting. Usually you push it up for one and back for one and up and back and, and it was just so old that like you really couldn't tell which um, gear you were in. <laughs> so I'd, I'd have to be really careful and actually little stickers to designate because they were so close. If you're familiar, you, you probably won't understand this unless you've driven stick but I had to actually put little stickers on my dash here to identify how, if it was possibly in reverse, first or third, something like that. And, um, <laughs> it was scary because it, a light, you could, you could, like, be stopped at a stoplight and hope you're in first and not reverse so that when the light turns green you don't go backwards. Finally, after driving it for some time, I got a good feeling for it and felt more confident. But like even adults that had driven stick for years would try my car and like end up going in reverse when they thought they were going um, forward. So it wasn't just because I was a new driver; it was truly, um, you know, a really messed up stick shift area. So it was pretty funny. up and close 
smoothie. Just like you can put um, different things inside here, your CDs or your sunglasses, etc. This is for the volume to get up and down. You can skip backwards, forwards. We've got FM, AM stations and this is CD or tape, which there's no tape option, so I'm not sure why it says that. Uh, disc, inject. So thank you guys for being patient while I am settling in and have not been able to get as many videos out as usual. Um, I also shared that I have a new um, job on top of my the job I already have actually. Um, so things have been you know a little bit busier but um, they're calming down. she goes like through Target or CVS or whatever it is, Costco. I would definitely check out her videos, I really like them. I've been watching them a lot lately. They're like really pretty informal and she's just kind of kind of doing what I'm doing right now, just like talking about stuff as she passes it. But um, she doesn't tap a scratch actually, she, it's more just whispering as she goes through a store. So. Um, I was considering trying to do something like that. Um, I've had some people request it actually, wa walking through a store and tapping on stuff and talking about it, or doing you no know, talking visions too. Um, but I'm, there's that string cheese wrap. I'm concerned because, um, yeah, I would, I would think they would like kick you out of the store if you were filming. But um, I think because she uses her cell phone got as big of a deal. So I haven't figured it out but I've been processing whether or not I can figure out a way to do that. My cell phone would not create a video the length of an ASMR video. Um, I've, I don't have that much space on my phone to be able to do something like that. So I'd probably have to use a camera or pay for extra space on my phone. I'm not, I'm not sure. I haven't figured it out but I really like those videos and I thought I did have requests for it, so I thought I might try it at some point. Would you guys like that? It would be fun, like I could go through different stores and... Because I always, when I walk through stores, I always tap on stuff now. I'll like walk by a purse and be like, ooh, that's a good plastic, and I'll start tapping on it. And then I think of you guys and think about, oh, I'd like to use this in a video, I'd like to film with this. So it'd be pretty cool to just get to walk through a store and tap and scratch and stuff for you guys. No talking and soft spoken versions. Um, I will do a no talking version of this too. For my friends that love the no talking. <laughs> I've got I've got a lot of you guys who love soft spoken and a lot of you who love no talking, so that's why I do both. Some of you like both, and just watch both of both versions I put out too. By the way, I love when you guys let me know you're starting your own ASMR channels. So it's great to see that in the comments. Sometimes you guys will tell me to go check out your channel.
some cords down there because what we do is we can open this up and we can stick in our, um, I don't know, what is it called? Anyway, our wire we stick in here first and then we have a wire attached and we can charge our phone. I think it's like a, it used to be a cigarette lighter. Oh, car, I cause always had these, I believe. Um, but now, like, we use them for yeah, charging our phones and stuff. Am I am I correct in remembering that? But like, I think my mom used to call that like a cigarette lighter when I was really little, something like that. And now I can't read it. But I'd love to make this longer but my my battery is running out here because it's not plugged into um, any electricity so I'm gonna go plug it in and then film you guys another video with no talking but thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys are doing well um, I kind of miss you I guess it's weird but like I haven't gotten to film as often lately so I feel like I haven't like talked to you lately <laughs> In this video, I will be tapping and scratching through one of my good friend's cars. She has a Honda and you might hear cars going by once in a while. This is her dashboard area, mileage, gas, odometer, and such. She's got this cute sticker here of Little Octopus. There's custom t-shirts in there. Here's the vent. And they have a device here for holding your phone up while you drive so it can like you know give you directions, etc. This is for determining how much or how little air you want to come out of the vent. And down here you can control the mirrors and move them about so they fit your needs. Those are my shoes down there, I'm sitting cross-legged. And this is cruise control, I'm guessing. Usually Honda's like, this is also, this is cruise control. So actually, I, I don't know what the other is or if it's similar. But usually, you can do cruise control from here. This is the window control. So you can control them going up and down. This is for locking and unlocking. They have cleverly mummified the car door handle <laughs> duct tape of some sort. So it probably it probably broke or something. It's funny, our Honda had a messed up handle too. Like I think what happens is this portion here, it like starts to come off. It's not like it's like a cover of metal. <laughs> Like it just like peels off or something. Still very nice material here on the side. 
I don't know what year this car is. But it's similar. I'm sure you can hear some of those cars. Sorry about that. I think it's similar to the age of our car. So it could be even 50 years old. Okay, I love this section on car tapping videos. She's got a little pink rhinestone here for the volume. This is for changing the channel on the radio. And then this is yeah, it's quite old, you can see because it has the tape deck here. Okay, so it's like it has a CD too, but it's actually probably older than ours if it has this. But they've got this um, portion here, this wire that can help adapt to, you can add, plug it into your phone. CD and tape, wow. I just have not seen the word tape for so long. Like it's an old, like to have this in your car means it's quite old. AM, FM. Inject that in. And nice soft area here. It's nice with a compact disc. Then you've got your air condition and heating. So you can put it on just the upper vents. You can do both chest and feet. Just feet. And this is defrost, and it looks like in this case you can do defrost and feet. And here you've got your cold to hot to determine what temperature you want the air to be that's coming out. And you've got everywhere in between as well. And this is just the on off portion, so this is off. And the further you put it along, the higher you will get. So if you want it to blow a lot, you go here, less here. And this button allows for you to use just air in the car to be what is used when this is on, to kind of circulate the inside air. Otherwise they're using air from outside. To bring inside but sometimes you drive by like a truck you know that's got a, an exhaust problem and you kind of just want to keep only the air inside the car circulating instead of the stuff from outside coming in and making it smell bad so then the AC button defrost button so I think this is the defrost for the back window if I'm not mistaken and this is for the front Here you can see the channel the radio is on or the um, a DVD, not DVD, the CD player, what like um, number it's on. And then there's these two vents as well. So there's these two in the middle and this is the emergency button that you can push if you are stuck in a precarious situation. This is for your lights and your blinker. I love to drive. I really do. It's so fun. I'm so thankful I can drive. And then this, it's a bit blurry, but it's for your um, windshield wipers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. P R N D D three two. All the way to 
one for me. From empty. Okay, I'm going to bring you to the other side and to the back seat here. Okay, so we are on the passenger side in the front seat. We have a vent as well. And you can determine if you want lots of air, less air. Down here. You can change the gear that you want your car. You need to watch it in park, reverse, neutral, drive, drive three or two. I always want to call this your stick shift, like shift back. In this case, it's not shifting, so just like a handle. And this is the emergency brake that you pull up to get those brakes on really strong if you're on a hill, etc. In parking where you need to turn your tyres in or out if, to make sure that you don't roll down a hill. Wow, that does lead to a great story, I just realised. So yes. My first car was a really, really old car. It was a 1986 Volkswagen Jetta. And um, it was just, we bought a super, super old car because I wanted a stick shift. And my family, when I was 16, got me car to drive so I could drive to and from school and everything and um, it was um, really really cheap because it was so old but I wasn't going to go you know going very far or anything like that it seemed so I got that car which was very very sweet and generous of my parents it was a used car very very cheap old etc it was a mess but it was brilliant at the same time And, yeah, I drove it for a really long time. And the funny story is that I was told to change my oil. And I didn't know what that meant. My family thought I knew what that meant. I did not. Yeah, they've wrapped this one too. <laughs> and I thought that meant that you go to the gas station, you buy a bit of oil, and you pour it inside the oil container. The like portion where the oil is. I would like check to see how high the oil was, etc. If it was low, I'd fill it. That's all I did. <laughs> Turned out, three, four years later after only doing that on a really old car and driving so ended up driving it a lot. I drove it through college and um I drove it so so much so far. I had a bunch of different jobs teaching dance and I had in like multiple different places I had multiple different groups that I was a part of and, and then I was also full time in school and I was driving to and from school so I knew I was going so many miles, the mileage was just building up, up, up. And again, it's already a really old car with high mileage. I think that when we purchased it, it was you know, already like 300,000 miles. Like it was really that old and that cheap when we got it. But because it was like um, stick shift and I don't know, it was like really easy to fix, very reasonable to fix. It just went, just kind of kept going on and on and on. It had a 
very, very long life. And so about you know, three or four years of driving it extensively, four years of driving it extensively, and that's after um, having driven it for two years prior as well, just small bits around the neighborhood and school. I went to the mechanic for something else and they said if I got an oil change I said sure I do that all the time and they looked and said we don't have that in our file that you've done your oil change actually I was like yeah I do it <laughs> they're like you can't do it <laughs> like we highly doubt you did change your oil I mean people can do that but I don't think you did and so I told them what I had been doing they proceeded to laugh at me um, greatly I knew them uh, a lot like well because they were like a family mechanic etc they proceeded to laugh at me I then proceeded to laugh at me it was great fun I went home told my family they proceeded to laugh at me also everyone was in shock that my car was still running because I had not changed the oil and had been driving so many miles all over the place this is the hand sanitizer I'm going to take you guys to the back Believe it or not, there's even more to that story. So I am not exaggerating when I say that this car had above 500,000 miles on it when I brought it to the mechanic the first time for, for, for the oil change. And they, you know, they take note of that. They write it down. And the next time you go in, write the, the new number to see how far you've gone and then they tell you when you should come back well um they noticed that the odometer had not changed at all and i had driven tons in those you know two or three months and so they laughed at me again because they realized this car says over five hundred thousand miles and if you're driving it that much every month it is far beyond 500,000 miles. We don't know how far along it is, how many crazy amount of miles are on this car, because we don't know when the odometer stopped working. Because we've only seen you three months back for the first time. For that car. I mean, I guess we bought it in for other things. I don't know. Like, but I guess not that because it didn't break down very often. It was a really good car. The engine was killer. So, all that to say, I've been driving so, so much all, all around, hour from home, back, hour from here, this direction, that direction, on a car that had a crazy amount of miles. Probably, you know, 550,000 miles. Maybe more if it's possible. And um, I hadn't gotten oil changes all that time. So it's amazing that I'm alive. <laughs> Truly. That's the moral of that story. Lots of laughing at me took place. And it was great. So yeah, this is just the back of the seeds. Not a lot to see here. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me your car stories. Anybody else have a car story like that? And if you do, let us know in the comments and we will all have good fun laughing at each other <laughs> okay you guys thank you again and i hope to see you next time bye for now okay hi you guys i hope that you are doing really well This is the soft-spoken version of my um, like car videos that I'm doing. I'm doing two, a part one and part two of kind of car tour tours.
so um, this is actually not my car, this is a friend's car but it, it's gotten some nice sounds in it and I thought it'd be fun, I've gotten um, requests to do car videos like where you're tapping and scratching in cars and this seemed like the perfect opportunity to do it this week because I am in the middle of a move, as many of you know. Um, I have mentioned it in the last couple of videos that I will be, we are moving, we, we actually have moved now, um, but we're just like still figuring, like getting out of boxes and it's a bit crazy. be best to do some videos um, not in the house because things aren't set up for me to film there yet so it's perfect timing to get these videos in the car that you guys have requested and actually I've really wanted to do these for quite some time I have um, I got inspired by Maria from Gentle Whispering. She has done a video where she was kind of giving you, it was kind of like a role play actually. Like a, she was selling a car to you so she went through brochures of different cars and then she actually showed her car and she did like some great tapping and scratching in her car and just showed, it was just really awesome so it inspired me to do a video. Mute, sound, car, menu, voice, phone, media, band, and then we've got down here some different controls for the airflow, air conditioning, and then we've got what, auto menu, what's this down here, not sure, just got an off button and a little fan looking thing. Oh, interesting. There's another one for AC. I, I, um, this one has AC on it, and this one has like defrost. So actually, I think this is the defrost, and this one is the AC. Then we've got some different options for where you want the air to flow, kind of thing. And then some different dials up here. Another here, and then a screen here. And then of course we've got the vents for the air to come out. And this is for holding like a cell phone, so that when you're driving you can actually put it in here and it will allow you to, you know, do your GPS while you're driving. Um, but without like holding on to it and it, it just doesn't move around with this it kind of has like a grip it looks like and this is the dashboard so this is just opening and closing you can kind of turn it to different sides dependent upon where you want the air to flow and you've got just this little dial here it will let you change how much much air is flowing out of the vent. It's got a nice shiny plastic kind of exterior. Kind of grey tone. And then the dash is like a black plastic kind of. controls here. Down the handle for the door. This is the, the, the handle that opens and closes the door back. This kind of area you can hold on to here. It's all made of plastic. 
think. Some kind of nice carpet-like material for the side of the car here. Gives it some warmth. This is really short, kind of weaved material so that I'm going to put a scratch on it. controls here so you can down and up on each window and this one I'm not sure what this one is I'm really looking forward to getting my space set up to film again indoors yeah I'll probably have it set up this week Really hoping to get some hair play videos out. I haven't gotten a hair play video out for you guys for quite a while. So I'm hoping to do that. And back here we've got the seat belt. It's just coarse metal and plastic and then the actual belt. It's just where the belt comes from. Square that you can click into the section over on this side. I'll show you. Past this, I love the sound of this all the way. And then you can click your seat belt into here. Nice red button there for you to click on. And then um, as you go along here, you've got some different areas where you can put like a USB. And, um, oh, I just clicked something. I don't actually know what I clicked. Let's put that back. And then we've got park, reverse, neutral, drive, and B, which I do not know what that is. material that this is made from. It's great, great sounds. It's got some blue stitching. Yeah, this reminds me of a um, stick shift. I, I feel like I may have mentioned this in the other video. I, I like driving stick shift more than automatic. I currently don't have a stick shift, but it was my first car. And um, I really like it. It's a lot more fun than automatic, in my opinion. Okay, so it has the start engine here. And then this siding is made of a much harder plastic some hitting parts of it. See even here this has got a thicker padding to it than down here at the same material where it starts right here. You can see the transition where here it's got padding in underneath and here it's just plastic. And then there's this great section here um, where you can put little texture to it. Kind of like a rubbery um, texture and it's black. Did you see that? And then this can pull down over if you want to shut anything. I shut this on anything inside. So I'm going to keep that up because right now there's um, a 
phone charger in here, I believe. And then if you go further, get this strip of metal here. And again, the dash, plus another vent over there. And this just opens for a nice compartment to keep things in. favorite sound in the whole car. Actually, second favorite. <laughs> My favorite was this guy here. So the airbag is located inside of this. And that's for safety precautions so that if you get into an accident it will um, open up and protect you from debris flying or things your head crushing into stuff <laughs> it's like a huge balloon basically a big pillow that deflates but it uh, it deflates very quickly so sometimes when it deflates it can actually harm your face but it's better than the alternative basically and this is for the windshield wipers. Got high, low, I don't know if that's intermediate, I have no idea. And then off. And then it's got, oh, it says OK, reset. And then it's got some different options. What do we have over here? Okay. We've got, um, for your lights, so he has it on auto right now, um, but there are different options that you can turn this to. But we keep it on auto, he's gonna, or he's gonna keep it on auto. And, um, let's see, let's see. shiny with the sun here. I'm forgetting which things I shared yesterday. I filmed a video in a different car yesterday. Um, so that I'd have like the part one and part two, two different cars for you. Um, but I'm forgetting if I shared this, I apologize if it's shared again, but one of the videos, um, or channels I should say, that has inspired me lately is a, on a channel called Southern ASMR Sounds, and I've really enjoyed, she does these walkthroughs of different stores, and um, it's really cool because she just goes through and taps and, well actually she, she doesn't really tap and scratch too much, she, she touched touches the items but she doesn't necessarily tap too much um, and she just goes through different cool stores and kind of talks about the items that she's passing and that the store has and it's really relaxing to watch and it's kind of fun to see the different products like she might go through Target or something like that um, I would love to try to do something like that um, with tapping and scratching because I found like she doesn't tap as much, like I said, she doesn't really um, work with the items as much as um, I would maybe enjoy in terms of tapping and scratching. Um, but I was thinking of kind of trying to do something like that in a store, but I, my phone doesn't, I can't record on my phone, like it doesn't have enough space to record like a 20-30 minute video, so I kind of have to figure out how I would do that. Um, it's a lot more, um, like people will notice you more if you walk through with the camera and they might tell you to leave. Um, but with your phone, you might just be taking a video for a friend or something, so they tend to not say as much to you. So I'm not sure if I will be able to pull that off, but 
but um, if so, I'll try to do that. I think it'd be kind of cool. I just need to figure out how to do that. Because right now, like, I'm holding the camera in my hand, and um, it would be kind of s suspicious <laughs> if I walk through a store like this. They'd probably ask me to stop filming. Oh, look, there's my tail and my little flip flop. <laughs> Yeah, but I'd like to try something like that. I'm curious if you guys have watched any of her videos. Again, it's Southern ASMR Sounds. Um, and if you've seen her do any walkthroughs, or if you've seen other channels do that. And, and if you enjoyed that, and I could do new talking and talking versions, of course. Because um, I know a lot of you love no talking, and a lot of you love soft spoken. So, I can do different versions of them. same kind of rubbery um, bottom to it that we had in this section over here but this is a bit more rubbery feeling this is a tad bit more plasticky feeling but still has that bumpy texture nice with the couple oh this is great because it has some portions that click inwards here so that your cup can set really nice and steady and it probably would hold different sizes of cups too because of that. So that's also a great benefit. This is the texture of the seat. Some black and some grey. Nice stitching. It actually has this blue stitching. That's cool because it had it up here too. So it kind of ties the design together a bit. Oh, and actually I can see down there, it also has that. This is thing for maybe a seat around, probably. And another seat belt, of course. And this is just, you know, to open up and put things in the, in the center divider here. So thank you guys so much for watching, I, um, like I said, look forward to getting my space set up to start filming in this new location that we're living. Um, we actually moved a year ago also, so this was, um, it's kind of hard to move that back to back, um, to be in a place for such a short time, but thankfully the place that we have moved to this time will probably be a bit longer, um, so that's kind of nice to feel a tad bit more settled. Yeah, my husband and I have moved a few times. Not um, not like a gigantic across the state of the world or the country moves, but um, moves within the same area we live in. Um, but still, you know, getting everything boxed up and that sort of stuff, um, and then setting everything up amongst all that you have to do is, you know, it's a lot. So I'm looking forward to everything being set up and. Um, settled in more. So I hope you guys enjoyed the car videos that I'm putting out. There are no talking and talking versions of both cars I did. This one might be coming out first, so if so you'll have another one coming out soon. Thank you guys for your patience as I've not been able to put out as many videos per week as usual due to the move plus actually an extra job on top of my normal job so it's been a bit um yeah a lot of extras <laughs> so I appreciate your patience and I'm sure you guys understand you guys have life to live and yeah okay bless you guys and um hope to see you next time good night